Welcome to Engineering Deathmatch. We are here at our second episode of Cisco Live, focusing on Tropo. We've got a couple of great engineers to come out. We're in the DevNet zone. Uh, great, great event so far, but let's go ahead and meet our engineers. Up first, we're going to have Jeffrey Gisson. Did I say that right? Gisson. Jeffrey Gisson. Come on up, Jeffrey. So, Jeffrey, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm a developer from Denver, Colorado. Uh, pretty new to the development scene, but uh, ready to crush this like I do everything. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've seen several people compete so far uh, here at Live. What's your strategy? How are you going to approach this? I'm just going to approach it calm, get it done. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm not even nervous. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have Robert Shade. Come on up, Robert. So, Robert, he seemed a little bit sure of himself. Tell me a little about, bit about yourself. Um, so I lead the software development team at uh, Presidio in our IoT group, and um, yeah, looking forward to seeing what you got on that paper there. What we're going to do today? Any like strategies going into this thing? Have you watched, studied film from previous con contestants and gone, oh, I shouldn't do that, or I should do that? Yeah, I think I watched the one with Nick and uh, thinking about using a computer, maybe a keyboard. Today. All right, so. We ready to hear the challenge? All right. Brony Time is Las Vegas' premier party bus for adult male fans of the show My Little Pony. Man, we have some weird companies on Engineering Deathmatch. <laughs> With demand at an all-time high for and, and a high-profile Brony convention coming to town, they have an urgent need to deploy a reservation system to keep up with demand. They're asking you to, de to develop a Tropo application to automate the reservation process and take calls from customers to reserve their spot on one of their buses. If you can get this done in time for them, they'll even offer to get you a costume of your favorite character and entrance to the convention. Sound good? All right, guys. This episode is brought to you by Cisco DevNet. To find out more about the RESTful API used in this episode, visit developer.cisco.com. Want to try out the challenge for this episode? Visit tropo.com and sign up for a free developer account today. Audience, are you ready? <laughs> Contestants, are you ready? Oh, yeah. You can do better than that, too. Contestants, are you ready? Oh, yeah! Yeah! All right, on your mark, get set, go! Uh, the scenario itself doesn't seem too hard, but there's a whole lot of steps. Uh, they want us to confirm reservations, they want us to confirm costumes, so it's just a matter of keeping track of all the information. Tropo site should be pretty straightforward, uh, confident there. How do I think I'll do? I know for sure I can finish it, I just need to finish it as fast as possible, so I'm not too worried. John and Catherine in the booth. Looks like Jeffrey went straight to Rails. You get the feeling that he's done this kind of thing before. True, his day job is a developer, but let's set that aside for a moment. I've got a personal question to ask you. Kind of early in your co-hosting duties to start asking personal questions, but go ahead. So, come on, admit it. Are you secretly a brony? Secretly? No. Why? Are you? I'm not really sure I uh, meet the requirements. Well, while you think about those requirements, maybe you could tell us a little bit about Tropo that these guys are using here. Uh, Tropo is an application to help automate your communications. So you're basically uh, coding and connecting that code to the phone network with both voice and messaging. Uh, so uh, if you create a website, you can create an application that makes and receives phone calls, uh, uses voice re recognition, or interacts over text messages. Um, with this code, you can even create multi-party conference lines, transcribe entire calls to text. And as a developer, did you know you can also get access to all those functionalities for free um, just to try it out and see how your application might work with it. That's awesome. While Jeffrey works on getting his application set up, let's go ahead and check in on Robert. All right, so the, uh, the challenge looks pretty straightforward. I am not a voice engineer, although I do want to be when I grow up, so this is going to be my first IVR that I'm creating, so that'll be neat. Um, yeah, no, I think this is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty cool, and uh, just make sure I get it done today sometime. That'd be good. I noticed that the development environment that Robert is using looks really different from what Jeff is using. Why is that, John? 
So just like any other coding environment, Tropo offers developers choice. Uh, in addition to choosing what language they want to do, they can choose to use the scripting API where their code is hosted um, on the Tropo servers, or they can use the web API where uh, the developer has their own host that hosts that code. Wait a second, do you see the name of Robert's application, Friendship is Magical? I think we may actually have a brony on the show. You really are on a brony hunt today, aren't you? Well, you're the one who started it, John. John, how about you tell us what the challengers have to do to complete this challenge? So as we said at the beginning, they're working for a company called Brony Time, and they're having to develop a party bus reservation system. So when a potential customer calls in, they need to ask them when they want to make the reservation for it. Now, that's really the easy part. What really is going to throw the contestants for a loop is that they need to ask customers what costume that they're going to be wearing and then assign them to a buses so that they're not sitting on the same bus with somebody else wearing that costume. So if there's somebody wearing a Twilight Sparkle costume, for instance, they want those two people to be on opposite bus, presumably to avoid fights. You seem to know a lot about My Little Pony, John. It's a hazard of the job. I'm no developer, but I'm pretty sure that internal server error is not a good thing. Yeah, generally it's not a great thing if it says error. While he tries to figure out how to fix it, why don't you go over there and interrupt them and see how they're doing? Will do. Hey, Robert. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Pretty good. I made a call and talked back to me. That's good. I made a call and talked back to you. How you feel you're doing with the uh, overall challenge? Uh, all right. <laughs> That's not a very reassuring comment there, Robert. Developers have trouble using speech while they're thinking. <laughs> I can do one at a time. All right, well, we'll leave you to it and talk to Jeffrey now. Jeffrey, how are we doing? Hopefully close. Hopefully close, but... Hopefully uh, close? I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it all comes together. Have Let's we see. done any testing yet, or are you just kind of doing it all and then going to test it all in one shot? A little bit of testing. I've been calling in, but still a little work to do. Still a little work to do. All right, sounds good. Thanks, guys. Neither of our contestants sound overly confident in what they're doing right now. Yeah, they're gonna have to kick it into a bit higher gear if they want to win the title of Engineering Deathmatch Champion. Take a look at this. Uh, looks like Robert is really getting into character for his code. Yeah, you know, when we defined the scenario, we didn't have any requirements for what they had to say to callers. This really proves that Robert is getting into brony time. All right, John, looks like we have a visitor to the deathmatch arena. Yes, indeed. It looks like Johnny Diggs has come to heckle the contestants. Let's see what happens next. Building a Tropo application. I, 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 who needs help? Because I basically wrote that API, so. It's so close. If it would tell me what its problem with my script is instead of just saying it's sorry, that'd be great. <laughs> it's just saying sorry? It's just sorry. I can't find or the compiler parse. What, all right, so are, is it to oh, is it JavaScript? What are you doing? Python. Python. Oh, you, you picked my, my Achilles heel. <laughs> what are you coding here? I'm doing the, the web API, so it's all in Ruby. Oh, it's all in Ruby. Both of you guys picked the hardest way to make anything in Tropo. Well, PHP is not easier. <laughs> JavaScript isn't easier. <laughs> uh, so, are you so using Web API? Are you using scripting? Yeah. All right, he, he may win this. Oh, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think so. 
because uh, I'm using some external database REST thing and it just keeps on telling me 503. But it works in Postman and I'm going to throw my computer. Um, I'm pretty much done except for one bug. So. What? What? It's not a tropo bug though, don't worry. It's not a tropo bug, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tropo's working, I'm um, done with that. So, go to the Spark Room. Yeah, have, you, have you been to the Tropo Spark Room? No, I'm sure it's just something stupid with my script. I, it just, I wish it would just tell me, you know, the syntax error that it's getting. Words of wisdom from Johnny Diggs? It sounded more like disapproval of their approach to the problem. Everyone's a critic when they're the ones not coding. Yeah, despite that, it looks like Jeffrey might be ready to test the scenario. Okay. All right. All right, that should do it. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of caveats yeah. in this thing. Are we done? So, yep, the top one. Welcome to Brony Time. Would you like to be picked up today or tomorrow? Type one for today and two for tomorrow. Today. What time would you like to be picked up? Eight. What costume will you be wearing? Select one for Twilight Sparkle, two for Applejack, three for Fluttershy, and four for Rarity. Twilight Sparkle. Um, what costume will you be wearing? Select one number, for Twilight type one Sparkle, says type two. two for Applejack, so you'll have to actually three say for Fluttershy, and four for Rarity. One. Or type one if it's being difficult. Reservation confirmed. Thank you for using Brony Time. Okay, so now we should get a text message, right? Oh, does it say text message? It says send a text message. We are not. Damn uh... it! There's so many caveats! <laughs> Looks like he didn't get the solution quite there yet. Uh, the basic application's working, and you can see he's created some reservations, but it's not t sending a text message back to the caller to notify him of their reservation. It looks like Jeffrey's attempt and failure has not affected Robert at all. Yeah, sometimes you have to keep your head down and continue grinding to get past an issue. Head down or not, Jeffrey's ready for another attempt. Will he have what it takes this time? We've got people getting buses. It looks like we have a winner! Two, four, six, eight. Today. Tomorrow. Two, four, six, eight. Today. Tomorrow. No. Today. Yes. Two, four, six, eight. Get lippy with me. Welcome to Brony Time.